dun, 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 dun. yeah, yeah. That intro gets me going, man. What's up, Knights of Stag? And everyone else, others, I guess. Welcome to austere August, and man, am I excited. You know why? Because it's time for the Stag Nation to rise up into their rightful places, the top of the thrones of all of the sub-side, sub-contest things. That's right, we're talking about Chiseled Face, Midnight Stag. I first heard of this from a young man named Stephen, who uh, said that it was his favorite. And guess what? It's mine too. So here we go. When I say we're doing full on stag, what I mean by that is actually full on freaking stag, baby. Here we go. Before we start, actually, you'll notice that my luxury collection is back after a exclusive three year tour of Europe, Scandinavia. So happy to see that in my background again. So when we're talking about full on stag, I mean, we're going all the way, all the way, baby. So we got some silk base. We got some uh, traditional, like towel base, regular base, I don't know, uh, old base, the base, I don't know, but let's, Let's get a hit of this. <clears throat> wow. It's like taking a hit off a of Volkswagen. Let's get a hit off of this. It doesn't smell like anything. What's up with that? I hope once we dig down into that, it starts to smell like something. Otherwise, this is going to be a pretty boring month. Actually, it all starts going away. Uh, anyway, let's review the hardware. Because a stag night is a sort of do-it-yourselfer, we're going with the DIY feather wannabe clone thingy that I handcrafted with some, what do you call this stuff? Paracord? Yeah. So this is a feather knockoff that was a folding shavette that I broke into a bunch of pieces to get this piece out. And then I tied a cute little paracord thing handle on it eh, to make my own little shave at it. Uh, how about that? Stags do it yourself. Adapt and overcome. Also, even though we do have the ability to live in a life of luxury, a stag knight sometimes must slum it a little bit. And therefore, we're going full on boar, baby. Boar for the month. This is a uh, sterling bore that I actually used for Austere August a couple of years ago. I went from brand new bore to, she's shedding already. Went from brand new bore to this. So let's see how she looks after another uh, month. I don't know why I've gendered my brush, but there you go. It's a she, get over it. Um, what else? Is that it for hardware? Well, we have our bowl, loading bowls and everything, loading in the coconut. Now. I said we're going full on stag, right? So we got Midnight Stag Shower Bath Body Soap. So we're gonna be giving that a shot. We also got, check this out, head, body, and hair. Wait, head, hand. Hand, body, and hair. So you can get your hand, also your body, and also your hair smelling like stag. Now. As you can see, I'm working a pretty decent, uh, decent afro here. So we'll see if this is capable of maintaining my mane. Also, what else we got? Oh, afterwards we'll put on a little bit of pomade from Midnight Stag. Yes, Midnight Stag hair pomade. Then we'll get into the shave finally. We're gonna use a beard oil as a pre-shave. You already saw the soap, right? Then we're gonna hit it with the double whammy Cosmo patented Miyagi method of the balm and the splash of the midnight stag baby, yes. And then to top things off at the end, we've got a Pretty new, 
pretty new. We had to tap into this last year. EDP? I think EDP, Midnight Stag, look at that. Uh, uh, uh. So, what are you sissies shaving with this month? For me and the rest of the cool kids, it's gonna be Stag. Let's get to this. Here we go. All right, so here we go. Now we'll try it in the bag. I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, look at the studs. Look at the studs. Sorry, forgot to. Don't want that to look all jiggly. Fun fact about Cosmo: those are the only places I really use soap. All right, now. Oh wait. All right, now. That's how a night of stag would open it. Holy! <laughs> it really comes out of there. Look at that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. We're gonna give that one more chance. I think I spilled it off. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the sudsing action that we're hoping for. I'm really scared to get this in my eyes. How's my suds? Look alright? You go up well? You do okay? Wow. It's like I just finished servicing a Greyhound bus, but I'm still clean. It's amazing. Alright. That's good enough for this part. Let's move back over there. Put it straight. Give me a second. Gotta get dried off. stuff works good wow all right let's get to it then shall we let's start off with a little bit of our freshly washed hair can use a little bit of pomade here so a little it needs to be warmed up I think Now, I don't normally use a pomade. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells like a sweet stag. How's that? It looks so short. <laughs> Right. What's our next step in our multi-stag event? Another thing I don't normally do is use any sort of pre-shave, but let's give it a shot. Hold on. This stuff is thick, look. Like.
Hmm. It's a different, uh, it's interesting how the different mediums have a different scent. All stag-esque, but slightly different. Interesting. I don't normally use a pre-shave, but we'll see how that works out. I feel all lubed up. My hands are oily, so good thing I've got my hand, body, and hair wash. Go ahead and wash that oil off. Next step, with all these steps, I get lost what we're doing. All right, so we got our bore brush all soaked up. Get the excess water out of there. And we're gonna start with the remnants of the silk base. Now normally, normally I scoop, but not that much left in here and it seems like with as much soap as you need to use with the silk base I would need an ice cream scooper instead of my little spatula so we're just gonna go ahead and try and load the hell out of it in here and see how it works out it seems really hard I haven't used a silk base since last year it's not really picking up anything, look at that. Man, you gotta work hard on this. It's barely doing anything to it. Yeah, we're getting some. Got some in there? Let's see what happens. We got oil. Let's see what happens, shall we? All right, so here we go with the DIY razor. We are using a Schick Proline P30. First time use with this blade ever. Never used this type of blade before. Let's see how she rolls. Hmm. The soap's actually pretty good. The blade, I don't know. For efficiency, I would give it a 9.6 out of a scale of 1 to an unknown number.
So it's nice and slick though, I like it. You know, when it just falls off the razor, you're doing okay. Not too sure about this blade though. Better than that Kai Captain Titan mild that I used the other day though. This one feels pretty aggressive, but it's still comfortable. But it's not very efficient. You gotta work for it. It's pretty good. That leaves a really, really slick. I don't know if that's from the shave oil or that's the leftover soap that's on there, but it is really, really slick after half a rinse. Feels pretty good. We're gonna do another light pass. I gave myself a little nick. Getting sloppy in my old age. Much more thin this time, not a lot of soap left in that little 24 millimeter bore brush. But it is slick, wow. That's really good actually. Impressive. Actually, like this soap is better than I thought. I can't believe I nicked myself in front of my friend. How embarrassing. Razor's a little awkward at that angle, but what are you gonna do? It's a pretty good shape. Let's rinse it off. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Now, one of the great joys that I have in life is taking 
some midnight stag after shave splash and splashing it onto a freshly shaved face feels really good. And then getting a big old huff of what comes out. It is a religious experience for me. Oh, that's the. I think of all the different uh, mediums for carrying this scent, that aftershave is my favorite. It's so good. I don't know if it's the alcohol or the menthol or whatever that's in there that adds to it, but man, I love it. That's really, really good. Um, now, we're also going to add a little bit of the balm. Oh my God. like smearing taffy on my face. Now last. But definitely, not least, wrong side, the Midnight Stag, EDP, starting with one squirt on day one. All right, my friends, so there you have it, when I say Full stag. I mean, I'm going full stag. The only thing I'm missing is a stag candle. And that was only because I couldn't find one online. I looked. Now, for any of you that are not uh, Reddit members, I don't know how you found my channel if you're not, but we're starting Austere August. We're using the same setup all month long. So I'm going to be using this whole stag ensemble every day and same brush same razor this is a really good shave actually that's good um so we will catch another video when i feel so uh motivated and inspired but until next time you stag nights stay strong everybody else do, you know, whatever, whatever, to play your little game. But for the rest of you, that's right. Do it good. See you next time. Cosmo, out.